Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Game Aim Plus, where my aiming is gaming. I am your host, the boy G, and oh, we're going to talk about it, okay? Let's talk about it. Okay, but before we get into this, please guys, a lot of you guys that are watching my videos are not yet subscribed. Please subscribe, click that little bell button, and like the video. It would do me wonders, and it would help me reach my goal of 2,000 subscribers and more. Please, thank you. You guys are awesome. But we're going to get into it. So, bang, here we go. Okay, what we're going to talk about is Metroid Prime 1 and 2, little collection, and we're going to talk about Metroid Prime 4, okay? Now, here we go. So, Metroid Prime 1 and 2, okay? I feel those two are going to come in a collection together, okay? I've, I've talked about this previously, but... As it gets closer and closer to the end of the Switch and closer and closer to the Switch 2 coming out, it's time to, to, to dig in deeper and really get into this because this is just it's my thoughts and then it's a lot of people's thoughts and there's been a lot of rumors as well. So, but we're going to get into it. So, Metroid Prime, uh, I'm sorry, 2 and 3. Okay, my mistake if I said 1 and 2. Um, we, uh, my bad <laughs> if I did say that. But Metroid Prime 2 and 3, right? Um, both of those releasing together in a little combo pack, right? Um, when the first Metroid Prime came out for the Nintendo, uh, for the Nintendo Switch, right? Um, the remastered version from the GameCube, okay? That came out, they remastered that game completely, and they only charged $40 for that. Surprisingly. Um, cause you know Nintendo, you, they, they bring a game back, they gonna want you to pay the entire 60 the whole shebang. But they did it. They only did a $40 thing. And my reasons is why I think of is because... I think now, this year, they're going to port 2 and 3 together um, in a combo pack onto the Switch for like $60, right? Because now, since the first one was only $40, they put these two together for $60. It makes sense, right? So, them doing that, you know, it raises up the hype more for Metroid Prime 4. Because I'm pretty sure, I didn't even try to rhyme all that, <laughs> more for sure. I'm pretty sure uh, they're they're not 100% done with that game yet. Even though it's been, what, like six years, six, seven years since they announced it. And it, we still have gotten nothing yet. Except the, you know, that little logo they showed us. And that was it. You know, that's crazy. That's all we got. But, yeah, I don't, um, even if it is done, they might be just polishing it up right now. Fixing it up. Going through it. Going through the glitches. Any type of uh, things that need to get fixed. Uh, frames. Anything. Right? I think they're fixing that up. And I think they're going to save Metroid Prime 4 for Switch 2. Uh, look, listen. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. It's It's been entirely way too long already. You know, we they dropped Metroid Prime 1. So I now believe we're going to get 2 and 3 together. You know, and now, like I said, it'll, it'll increase the hype. You know, get people interested in Metroid more. And then that way it gives a chance for people to go through all three Metroid games on just one console. Go through all of them. Check out how the story goes. You know, see how how every how everything uh, uh you know ends up and how it even leads to a Metroid Prime Four. You know, because we jump to a four and we, bro, we we don't even know what happened in the first three, right? You know, so and I have I have the first three Metroid uh, Prime games. You know, I have the whole trilogy on on my Wii U. You know, I know weird. I have it on my Wii U and um I tried to play it, but I don't like it. I, I you had I had to play with the Wii remote chuck thing and I no I didn't like that I don't I don't want to play like that I didn't like it skipped it entirely I'm sorry and I plus I wasn't even a big Metroid fan back then anyway when I got it so you know I was easy it was <coughs> excuse me it was pretty easy for me to skip it um but since I've been getting into Metroid more I've been playing more of the games beating some more of the games now I, I really want them to come to the Switch so then then now I can really try them how I want to try them you know I played the Metroid Prime Remastered, I have it for my Switch, and an amazing game, absolutely phenomenal. You know, if you don't have that yet, you might want to go get that because it's really, it's really great. It's really great. Um, so two and three, I really want to try those out on the Switch. Uh, you know, you know, dip my feet and see what's up. You know, I want to see, I want to really see what I'm getting myself into with Metroid Prime Four, because like I said, Metroid Prime Four, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out for the Switch too, and I feel like it's gonna launch with it. You know, I, I, yeah, look, I know I might be reaching for the stars here, but either if it doesn't launch for it, definitely the, like the first few months of the game come, like the, the Switch 2 dropping or coming out, I'm pretty sure Metro Prime 4 is coming. 
you know, and I feel like they're gonna use uh, Prime 4 to really show off the graphics of the Switch 2, because I'm, I already know the Switch 2 graphics are gonna be just Le Mantifique beautiful, you know? I don't know what they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna go with the PS4 graphics or the PS5 graphics. I don't know if it could even be that powerful. Either way, Prime 4 is gonna look prime. Okay, I'm talking about prime meat, yumness, goodness. Okay, that kind of prime, you know? And like I said, it's gonna show it off. It's gonna show off the graphics of the Switch 2 so good, like so well, you know? And I, and I know they're gonna use it for that. Like that, and, 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 and then of course, you know, people when drop it with the, uh, if you launch it with the Switch 2, you know, if you don't got that many options of too many games to go for, you'll go for this game that's right there. But when you when you see just like 20 games and that, you know, that 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 Prime 4 is going to stand out. But when you see like a hundred and something games in front of you, that Prime 4 ain't going to really stand out as much. So that's what I'm saying when they launch it with the Switch 2 to show off the graphics and because I think it'll get a better chance of people to to literally, literally grasp it. Well, what's that? Oh, that looks really cool. I want to try that. You know, so that's that's another reason why I feel like they're taking so long with Prime Four. Honestly, just to be honest, like think about it, it makes sense. There's no, there, I mean, there's a point, but there's really no point to drop it on the uh, on the Switch now. Like for what? It's already taking this long. You might as well push it to the limit and go as far as you can with this game, as in graphics wise and everything. You know, I'm not the biggest person on graphics. I don't really care. You know, but there's so many people out there in the world that just really care about graphics just honestly are probably a little bit too much you know as long as the game is the, the gameplay the game the story everything is phenomenal the graphics could just be cool they could just be all right with me i'm all right with just really good graphics they don't have to be the most phenomenal most realistic graphics in the planet like they don't gotta it don't gotta be all that i don't need that but a lot of people do so for those people we're gonna have to need it okay you know, we got to draw those people in that care about the graphics more than they do about the actual story. You know, there's actually people like that. Dummies. So, we're going to have to have the graphics really good to pull those people in. You know? Sadly. But whatever. You know, we don't need them, but we could use them. We could use those fans. Why not? So, that's my, um, that's my big thoughts about that, you know? And then, I, also, I, they need to bring it to the Switch too because I, I'm pretty sure... It's gonna be an open world. Like, it's gonna be an open world Metroid. Mark my words, bro. It, this is gonna be an open world Metroid. I'm talking about open galaxy, open universe Metroid. Like, in space, open space. Like, everywhere type. You, you guys gonna see. They gonna need that power of that Switch 2 to make it even possible. Watch. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Retro Studio. Y'all got something. Y'all got something going. I know what y'all doing. But... You know, that's that's my thoughts on Prime 2, 3, and 4. You know, those are my thoughts about it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. What your predictions on anything. You know, put in the comments. Talk to you, boy. Let's chat. Let's, let's, let's get to talking, baby. But there you go, guys. Game Aim Plus. Please subscribe. Click that little bell button. That way, every time I upload a new video, it'll pop up on your phone. Like, you feel me, dog? You feel me? But yeah, y'all have a great morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll catch you in the next one. Boo, y'all. Yeah. Woo.